What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Madden Ballers YouTube channel and this is episode 10 in the Madden 13 Connected Careers Denver Broncos franchise series and it's week 7 of the season, our bye week, so I'm going to bring you some recruiting that we've done or some scouting, sorry, some scouting that we've done and some just off the field activities here. So you can see here we're uh, scouting Jarvis Morgan here, cornerback from Iowa State and he's got some good speed, some good jumping. I believe he's the top rated cornerback in the draft so we're just going to look at him and some of the off uh, season or off the field things we need to do as far as changing our team up I think middle linebacker cornerback could be it Champ Bailey could be retiring at the end of the season and this is probably not one of my best uh, areas of the game so I'm not really good at scouting people and selecting the right players because I always really just like to go by overalls and you really can't do that I don't think so you get to see here we're scouting uh, Marcus Webb cornerback from Memphis 6'2 214 pounds and the problem I'm having is basically I play a lot of game flow so I let the computer select my plays on both offense and defense unless there's I see a need to uh, go into the playbook and change that play up and a lot of what they do there in game flow is play zone coverage on defense and I believe there's might be some kind of glitch in the game as far as the zone cover coverage it's not really true to football or something I've heard that maybe um, but uh, a lot of these guys have really bad zone coverage uh, attributes so you can see here we got to negotiate left tackle Ryan Claddy's contract here and he's a 90 overall and I believe he was a first round pick for us a few years ago and we're gonna offer him a five-year deal for four million and a signing bonus of 1.5 million here so he really wants a five-year 5.44 million deal but we're gonna go, go ahead and offer him that and his agent will get back to us next week with that and here we go we're gonna look at some receivers here we have two really good receivers we have Eric Decker and Demarius Thomas they're both, I believe, two years into their careers, but Demarius Thomas has got a lot of speed, but he's been injured for us this year a lot, so I'm thinking we need to look for another receiver to, uh, in case that injury happens again, and we just don't feel we want to roll with Demarius Thomas anymore, we want to trade him or something, so... Um, we also have Michael Sims Walker, which we signed on a one-year deal, which probably won't be back at the end of the year, and we have Brandon Stokely, which will probably be gone at the end of the year, too, so... Here we are again negotiating with Ryan Claddy here. And we're going to up it to $4.2 million here on a five-year deal. And we're going to go ahead and are we going to submit this? Uh, we're going to up it even more, $4.3 million. Go ahead and submit that contract to him. And we're going to go ahead and negotiate Matt Prater's contract. We're just going to uh, pretty much give him what he wants. He's been pretty good kicker for us overall and he's a really high need as you can see there so we're going to give him a five-year 2.8 million deal with a hundred thousand dollar signing bonus so back to some scouting here we're going to scout Bryce Goodwin here from Iowa a center and like I said I really don't know what I'm doing in scouting here I really didn't know my team needs when I was scouting this because I really just like to play the game but uh or the you know the in-game stuff so we're going to go ahead and scout him and then we're going to look at Andrew Brown here, right receiver out of Southeast Missouri State, and he's got good catching traffic, and I'm really looking for a guy with some good route running. He had D, so I didn't really like that. And we got Dontravius Brown here, good catching, C route running, so that's pretty good, but he's got F awareness, so I guess we're just going to have to uh, get these guys on the practice field and hone their skills a little more, and we're going to go ahead, and you can see Ryan Claddy has accepted our offer, and so has Matt Prater. So we got those two guys signed. So those are two big uh, signings we needed to do. So another uh, area of improvement I think we need to do is middle linebacker. And we're looking at Anthony Niles here out of New Mexico State. And you can see linebackers in my system, again, I like to do a lot of game flow. So I have a lot of zone coverage on there. So the linebackers have to have a good good enough speed and good zone coverage here and I'm just not finding it I don't think so he's got F awareness and that's not that good he's got D zone coverage and we're looking at Jarvis Morgan again you can see we've unlocked some more of his uh, attributes here is 95 toughness stamina is A that's a 90 and we're looking at the injuries in A which is not good his kick returns in A so we might need him because we've had Eric Decker and he's fumbled a few times and we're looking at Kevin Vickerson now, a defensive tackle. We're going to submit an offer to him for one year, one million here. 
and see what his uh, agent says. And we're going back to the scouting board. Wide receiver from Clem Clemson, Trent Platt here. He's got 82 catching, so that's good. He's got a B spectacular catch here. He's got 61 route running, not good. 83 catching traffic though. And we're gonna finish up here with some Kevin Vickerson here. And he's we're gonna submit a one year, $1.2 million deal with no signing bonus and see what his uh, agent says. And Chris Gronkowski wants a new contract, wants to re-sign, and he wants 660,000 for one year. We're gonna offer 600,000 here and see what he has to say there. So this was just a little of the off season here, or the, not the off season, but off the field stuff here. If you like this content, if you like this series, please, please give this video a thumbs up down below and hit the subscribe button. And we'll catch you guys in the next video when we face off against the New Orleans Saints.